Well, the Salt Lake Symphony is taking you on a European journey for a night featuring pieces from some of the greatest composers of all time. But to add a, just a little twist to this concert, you'll also be entertained watching internationally renowned artist Jose Nadu paint live to the music. And this is going on at the same time. And Jen Hardman is at Libby Gardner Hall this morning giving us a little taste of this performance. This is a fascinating concept, Jen. Yeah, very fascinating because you've got the two loves of art that are coming together to bring this incredible one night on October 13th right here at Louis Gardner. So I want to bring in Jose Nadu and also Robert Baldwin, who is the conductor of the Salt Lake Symphony. Grace, how did this, Jose, you came up with this idea and you paint live to the music. Yes, I started that in uh, 2000 after meeting George Harrison in Montreal and then some something happened and then... That's it. I wanted to, it was always my dream. And so the big question is, is, do you know what you're going to paint going into this on October 13th or even today? Uh, yes. So I you listen, have an idea. Yes. I, I want to create atmosphere with the music. So whatever is triggered from the music, mm -hmm. then it's a visual pictorial journal. And Robert, what is it like for you is you're, you know, combined with this great music to watch what becomes of her art throughout this. Well, the interesting thing is we can't watch because we're doing the music, so we have to be careful. We have to be careful. At the end, it's going to be an interesting thing because music has been inspired by art and art has been inspired by music, but rarely have they actually come together at right. the same time. And so it's a very exciting thing to see that creation at the same time. Right. Well, you guys get in place and then uh, we're going to actually watch as this comes together. Just a little taste of what you'll see on October 13th right here at Libby Gardner uh, coming together. So you guys, Salt Lake Symphony and just say, take it away. So this is just a little taste of what you're going to be seeing right here at Libby Gardner. We'll actually tell you why this is all coming together and about uh, the great charity that this, uh, your proceeds are going to be going to. So Scott, Tanya, back to you. Uh, gosh, wouldn't it be nice if we could wake up to this every morning? How soothing would this be? It would be great. I would love that. Yeah, I'm just mesmerized, Jen. It's just amazing <laughs> to hear that music and then to see Jose now do yeah. uh, again paint and just create right there as you're hearing the music. And isn't it cool? We'll see what comes together of all this at the end. Pretty amazing. Okay, we were taking guesses on what she was doing there, mm -hmm. so we're excited to see it as she continues. Oh, look, there it is more. Okay, it looks wonderful. Thanks, Jen. We'll check in with you in a little bit. <laughs> okay, if you take food and art and the symphony, put it all together, that's a great evening, right? Mm -hmm. Well, not only will you be entertained as you listen to the symphony, but you get to watch artists, internationally renowned artists, Jose Nadu, uh, paint live while you listen to music, but all of your money's going to a great cause. Yeah, this is really cool. This is a special concert coming up October 13th, and the proceeds are benefiting patients with debilitating neurological conditions like traumatic brain injuries or spinal cord injuries, and it's benefiting people with disabilities in Utah. Utah and also the country of Morocco. Now, Jen Hardman, she is at Libby Gardner Hall this morning. And how does Morocco tie into all of this, Jen? Yeah, good question because, you know, the Utah side makes sense, but also we want to bring in Mo Sabai, who actually is from Morocco, but living here in Utah. So you started the Zahar Charity and you, you want to benefit people here in Utah, but also Morocco. And why Morocco? Uh, Morocco, because of a personal story, uh, in 2007 I lost my older brother to a severe traumatic brain injury. That's when we discovered that in Morocco they have nothing. Patients like him and spinal cord injury patients, uh, stroke, uh, children with neurological conditions, mm -hmm. they have absolutely no chance for any kind of rehabilitative care. And so you're helping those in Morocco as well as here in Utah. Absolutely. So your proceeds for this event are really going to a good cause. And wasn't it cool, Mo? We were watching Jose as she painted earlier. No, Jose, I want to ask you, tell us what we're seeing. Give us, give us an idea. You started this earlier, and what are we seeing? Uh, you're seeing an image of a, a man and a woman in the 17th century with the romance of the kiss, and then on the horse. And this. Oh, so there's the horse right there. Correct. And then ah, the eyes. I totally see it. And then the the woman here with her dress. 
uh, and all that was done in just one stroke. So of course wow. now I'm going to go back into it. Okay, Jose, you keep going. Jose is from Montreal now living in Utah and she is incredible. She has huge celebrities that actually own her work uh, and she is painting this to the symphony song by an English composer Purcell right now. Uh, Chacon is the piece they are playing right now. So we're going to let them just enjoy the music and the painting for a minute. And as Jose keeps painting to this, I will post a picture to my Facebook of the final picture, uh, Jen Hardman KSL, if you want to see a final one of that. But if you do want to come to this concert, if you want to see the painting as well as the symphony, it's October 13th right here at Libby Gardner Hall. You can get your tickets from ZaharCharity.com right there and come on down. They have great student prices as well as uh, VIP tickets here as well. So check it out uh, and come support a great cause. So I'm going to hang out here, Scott and Tanya, and enjoy the music. I am far more relaxed than I usually am some mornings with this music music going on. We just want to stick with this so we can see the finished product of the painting. Yeah, so I will, I'll uh, put a picture to my Facebook so you guys can all see that's, it. That's what we're going to see. Okay, it. okay great. We just want to make cool. sure. Okay. We will check it. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. You're we'll welcome. be right back. Stay with us. Well, right now we want to take you back outside Libby Gardner Hall because uh, that's where Jen Hardman has been, right? And we've got internationally renowned artist uh, Jose Nadu who has been painting uh, along as, with the symphony as the symphony plays. And that's what you can do. Um, they've got the proceeds benefiting patients with debilitating neurological conditions. Um, and the event is... Uh, October 13th. Exactly. Coming up. So we wanted to take you back and see how much farther she's she's come along with this painting as we look in live. We've got about 20 seconds, so let's listen in right here and we can uh, pull back and show you how far she's come with that painting. Mm -hmm. 